What's up, everybody? This is Brad, and this dropped this morning, kind of out of the blue, a new trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And some of the things that I saw floating around Twitter about this are interesting, so I thought we would watch this uh, and talk about them. Because there's some lore stuff in here that's that's pretty... It's, it's something to look at, so... <laughs> something to look at. It was a terrible choice of words, but let's just watch this trailer. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Update! We got some characters here. Two clans. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, of course. The Gal you galaxy people, okay. People, Adam and <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. So, the thing that was picked up on, but remember that Almighty Sinnoh, they're speaking as if that is a being, a deity. Ginter, is that what that said? I don't remember. Volo. Yeah, you look like a certain champion. Couldn't possibly be related, could you? I think that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Specifically, here, I'll, we'll use the trailer to find, uh... Where, where are you at? Okay, so here's this guy here, the leader of the Diamond Clan. Uh, says, I wish I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. And then the girl over here, the leader of the Pearl Clan, says that as well. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. So, at this point in... The Pokemon lore, there's some kind of deity known as Sinnoh. Now, we know that's the name of the region in the modern games. So, who is this talking about? And the theory I saw online is that this is going to be the original name that the people of this region gave to Arceus. Now, if that is the case, what happened to make them change their mind? Like, why... If they're calling Arceus Sinnoh before, you know, in the past, why did they just start calling it something different? Like, I mean, I get that, like, myths and legends and stuff like that evolve over time and stuff like that, but I, I, I don't know. I'm it just, it, it's interesting to me. Especially when you think, like, Arceus, as long as we... Like, it's been around since the fourth generation, and it's always been called Arceus. And the region was known as Sinnoh when we were introduced to it. So, how does this work? How does this tie into, like... Where do we get to the point where Hisui becomes Sinnoh, and Sinnoh becomes Arceus, if that's what it is? Now, I have another theory. What if Sinnoh is actually a different Pokemon? Maybe. That could be interesting. Or, here's an idea that just came to my head. What if they collectively agree, believe that, like, Sinnoh is this deity that they believe in, and it's actually technically Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina, you know. that they, 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 they don't know that all four of those, you know, legendary Pokemon exist, and then, for whatever reason, suddenly here they are in this region, and then that's where the legends and all that come from. And that, or something like that, I, I don't know, but that still wouldn't explain why the Sinnoh was, uh, why the, the region was renamed Sinnoh later, and then Arceus just become, or if, if the Pokemon that we call Arceus is originally Sinnoh, then how did that name change occur? So that's a very interesting uh, thing. And I wonder, like, you know, 
like this is going to be about the founding of the Sinnoh region. So I don't know. This is this is a very interesting game to me. This is the most interesting Pokemon game I think we've ever had. In terms of like, this is not going to be your standard Pokemon game where you run around and you fight gym leaders and stuff like that. So this one is actually going to be the the story is actually going to be very important, and the way the story flows and the purpose of the story is much different than anything we've seen before. Because every single Pokemon game becomes about a young trainer looking to make their name for themselves as the champion. Even Sun and Moon, despite the fact that they didn't have a league, it still ended up in that situation where the game's story establishes a Pokemon League, an Elite Four, and a champion. It's just that in that game, the player becomes the first established champion. So... It changed the formula up a little bit, but not a lot. This time, though, with the way that this game works, and it's not a traditional Pokemon game, um, they're they're allowed. It seems like it's allowed them to open up and tell more uh, unique stories that they couldn't have told outside of the regular formula we're used to. So I hope we see more games like this, even if even if they're not necessarily, um, if they don't play exactly like this, but more stories where we're allowed to leave the, the the classic gym leader, elite four champion, legendary Pokemon battle thing, you know, and we can see more of these worlds because this is canon within the actual main series uh, timeline. So, none like none of the other games I think do that. At least as far as I know, I don't know. I don't really think that the Pokemon uh, games have too much of an actual super concrete official timeline. But, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm, it's just interesting. Other little tidbits and stuff. I mean, I think these characters look pretty cool. Uh, is that the same character? No, that's two different characters. Uh, the clan leaders look pretty cool. Where's... Where's what's his face here? Where's a good okay? That's good enough to look for him. Although wait, okay yeah, there we go. Got his name up there. Uh, he's got a cool look. I don't think he looks familiar. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody that like looks like this guy. Not that I can remember from Gen Four. I'd have to go back and look at the characters from that game though. Uh, same with this one. Uh, Irida or something like that. She's kind of cute. But all the character designs for the Pokemon games are usually pretty good. She's got a flute here. Uh, where is it? There she is. Uh, of course, Pokemon flutes are pretty common in these games. This dude doesn't look familiar to me. Uh, I take that back. Maybe is he Cyrus? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Wait, maybe yeah. I was about to say maybe he's uh Steven, but no, that's that's Hoenn. That's not right. But he could be Cyrus though. Cyrus had the white hair. And despite the fact that he looked like one of the older uh team leaders that we've seen in the Pokemon games, he was actually one of the younger ones. We, as we come to find out. That's kind of crazy. He wasn't, uh... He's much he's much younger than he looks, if I'm if I remember right. And then, the one that's pretty obvious here, uh, the other character, Volo, that's Cynthia. It's, it's Cynthia, but this is, um... Uh, this is a dude, I think. But that's clearly Cynthia. It's the, the bank, the, the... The hair over the eye, I mean, especially the the facing the forward. I mean, it, it, that's that's Cynthia, <laughs> which is cool. It's cool to see these characters who clearly are tied to the ones that we're used to. It's like and, and they're practically reincarnated. Maybe that's what they're going for. It's like maybe it's a Zelda like thing where <laughs> the characters just reincarnate after a thousand years or something like that. Even the protags look like modern protags. It's it's all destiny. T time loops. But uh 
Anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is actually a very interesting game, and I'm excited to play this one. And it's cool to see Pokemon actually, you know, branch away from the, the formula. And if this does really well, I wonder if this will actually become the standard. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I love the classic Pokemon games and everything. I just... I don't know. I kind of agree that they need to do something more fresh. And this is exactly like something, the thing I would have in mind for that. But at the same time, I, I still am fond of the, of the, the classic style games. Can't help it. But anyway, what do you guys think? What are you guys looking forward to with this game? Um, you know, is, do you hope that there's more legendary Pokemon we haven't seen yet? Do you think that Sinnoh is a unique new Pokemon all its own? Or do you think that Sinnoh is actually Arceus and they're going to have to... Uh, and that's where all the naming stuff comes in. Will we see Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina in this game? I mean, considering that they are the... They are part of the main legends of this region. I'd assume they'd all have to make an appearance. But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Later.